And in conclusion, baby Jesus, please see to it to see Tim Tebow through this thing and yeah, just make sure he doesn't get himself killed. Amen. Wow. Well, hey there, Bronco fans. It's uh, Danny here from Bronco Planet. Just wrapping up a little combo with the big man upstairs. Doing a little Tebowing or Tebowing, so to speak. Uh, you know, just a, a little something something for the Denver Broncos and, of course, the prodigal son. You know, last week I almost called a perfect game when I called the Bronco Miami game the battle of the meh. And for 55 minutes, I was golden. Let's face it, watching the Broncos in Miami last week was a lot like a chess game. As in, it was like watching two guys play a chess game. Up to that 55 minute mark, my player of the game was Britton Colquitt, who just continues to kick the bejesus out of the football even since the season opened. For you stat nerds out there, like me, uh, Britton Colquitt right now fourth best in the league in average, and more importantly, third best in net. So a little something there uh, for Britton, Britton Colquitt. Did you know that he has kicked the equivalent of almost like a mile so far? It's not too surprising being that Denver is ranked in the lower third of the league, scoring only about 20 and a half points per game. But at least we're not St. Louis, who right now is only mustering about 9.3 points per game. Who's our offensive coordinator again? Honestly, I cannot help myself. Anytime I've got the opportunity to take a jab at Josh McDaniels, boom, gonna do it, gonna take it, gonna, gonna mail it in, or whatever. Two things that uh, you gotta know about me. One, I hold a grudge for a very long time, and two, I will always order the poo-poo platter at any restaurant, because it's funny. Well, it was a huge win for the Broncos, with our collective mouths hanging wide open, occasionally muttering the words, you gotta be kidding me. Bottom line is that Tebow got the win. Yes, it was against Miami, who is also every bit as bad defensively and offensively as we are. But Miami's homecoming king and Tim Tebow would not be denied the W in the fourth quarter. Okay, so where does that leave us? Two and four, with the four and two Detroit Lions coming into Denver this Sunday. Dun, dun, dun. You know, my little prayer session was warranted with the scary Detroit Lions defense coming in led by Nadamakan Sue and Kyle Vandenbosch. They've been feasting on quarterbacks all year long. What happened to the layover and die Lions that we've all grown to love? I love those guys. Well, these Detroit Lions have 17 sacks, 10 interceptions, 6 forced fumbles, and the Broncos are going to certainly have their hands full. Alright, let's talk about keys to the game here. One. Do not piss off Nadamakan Sue. Two, distract Kyle Vandenbosch with perhaps a mile high hot dog with cheese, or perhaps a risky pole dance from the Denver Bronco cheerleading corps. And three, hope beyond hope that the Denver Bronco O line comes to play. Hope that Mike McCoy decides to open up the offensive playbook, maybe even go with a spread offense for a while, play into Tim Tebow's strengths. Maybe the team bus uh, for Detroit takes a wrong turn and winds up in Albuquerque. What's that you say? I'm a non-believer? No. Well, yeah. What? I'm just hoping that the Broncos can come out of this deal unscathed. Nothing sucks more than playing your hearts out, losing by a couple of touchdowns, and sending half of your starters to the IR. Or worse, a psychologist, because the Detroit defensive line is so scary that wetting the bed is now a common thing. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about me. Should have probably left that last part out. Seriously, though, I don't wet the bed. There is a good piece of news coming out of Detroit, as Javad Best looks like he will be out for Sunday. Detroit's two losses really have been attributed to the fact that they don't have much of a running game. That'll certainly play into Denver's defense. And Matthew Stafford, he's still banged up. We have no idea if Stafford's going to play on Sunday. Most likely it'll be a game-time decision. But still, without him, they're a pretty potent offense. Where the hell was I? Oh yeah, the O-line. This one's on you. Clady, Zane Beatles, J.D. Walton... Orlando Franklin and that other guy. Who? Cooper, right. Chris Cooper. If the Denver Broncos are going to have any kind of success moving the ball, it's got to come from the O-line. The O-line must play out of their mind. Nothing like a middle-aged white guy rhyming. I'm serious. Lights out football is the only way that Denver wins this game. This also goes for the defense. The Champ Bailey and Megatron matchup should be good, but what concerns me the most is Detroit's tight end. They've got a couple of very good tight ends and former Denver Bronco, Tony Scheffler, freaking McDaniels, and Brandon Pettigrew. Both guys, great players. Pressuring Matt Stafford or whoever happens to be under center will also be crucial. Dennis Allen, once again this week we're going to say it, you got to turn the boys loose. So wrapping things up, I really think this game Sunday is going to be fun to watch, even if the Broncos just happen to not win. 
I hope Tim Tebow has his fastest running shoes all shined up and ready to go for this Sunday because I think he's going to need them. Ryan Clady, J.D. Walton, Zane Beatles, Chris Cooper, Orlando Franklinstein. You all need to become the monsters that this Denver offense really needs. It's not Halloween, right? Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. In fact, we just posted up a new YouTube video on the Bronco Planet channel there at YouTube.com. It's uh, the little deal we had uh, with the Bronco Alumni Association down at the Hofbrau last week. It was a heck of a good time. Make sure you check in and check it out. Join us here at BroncoPlanet.com for all the news, articles, blogs, contests, videos, everything you ever want, and, and more. So until next time, I'm Danny reminding you, we all live in Bronco Planet. And stop wetting the bed. It's embarrassing.